So the heading for this section is called Altering the Query. So as a pen tester, you not only have to have in-depth knowledge of how a system works, but you also have to have in-depth knowledge of system behaviors. So what we're going to do as a pen tester is we're going to do things to the system and then based on the response, we're going to see if it alters from that kind of, you know, normal behavior. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to enter in a single quote. Now we know that our username input field is delimited within these single quotes and we're going to check to see whether or not this is being escaped out. So we're going to attempt to log in. Now our system is allowing error messages to be shown to the screen, as we can see here, and it's telling us that we're not following proper command structure, so we're getting a syntax error. So armed with this information, we're going to then append a comment character to see if we can fix the command structure, and we can. So we can see over here, wrong username or password. We no longer get that same error. So armed with this information, we're then going to supply a username. And now we can see that we get right in. So to analyze this whole process, we're going to look at this kind of like flow chart. So we've seen over here inside of our action script that we were using this as our access control mechanism. We're saying select all columns and all rows from the auth users database table. And then we're saying where a username in the username column matches what we retrieve via the post and a password in the password column matches what we retrieve via the post for the password input field. So we have to satisfy both of those in order to get in. So now when we allowed a single quote or when we entered a single quote into the input field and it was allowed to be a part of our query, what we did is we broke the command syntax because up here is the typical or not the typical is the correct command structure down here is not. So we got that error. We fixed the error by adding a comment character. So over here we can see the single quotes or two single quotes to denote what we would retrieve from the post for the username input field. We comment out the rest out and now this becomes our access control mechanism. So essentially all we need to authenticate to the system is just a username. So that's what we did down here and that's why we got right in. Now the significance of this in a real world application is how many sites do you actually go to to register and it lets you know whether or not the username has been taken or not.